upcoming episodes, we'll be covering a lot of Azure content, so I thought I'd start off by explaining and comparing infrastructure as a service and platform as a service and what they mean to you. But first, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and if you like code porn and want to support it, visit our Patreon page. So at traditional on-premise data centers, be it in-house or an actual data center, you have to manage every aspect, including purchasing and installing the hardware, the virtualization, the networking, software, security, storage, etc. Not only that, you're responsible for maintaining those resources, fixing them when they fail, and replacing them as they age and become efficient. While managing a data center might seem fun to some people, there really aren't many reasons to go this route. While you do have complete control, it's costly and the benefits are limited. When it comes to cloud offerings like Azure, you get an alternative to the traditional on-premise data center. For starters, Azure is responsible for all of the hardware and maintenance of that hardware. Beyond that, Azure also offers a wide variety and ever-growing list of services that you can easily take advantage of as well. The biggest benefit is that you can choose how much or how little hardware that you use and the price will adjust accordingly. If a server goes down, Azure will take care of it and usually does so in a way that is unnoticed by the end users. Now this means no more 2 a.m. phone calls. This leads us to what infrastructure as a service is. As mentioned, with traditional on-premise data centers, you have to manage everything. With infrastructure as a service, Azure is responsible for, well, the infrastructure. This includes hardware, storage, networking, and everything that goes along with it. In this case, Azure also handles a virtualization, which makes it easy to get systems up and running quickly. With infrastructure as a service, you're responsible for everything else though, meaning you manage the OS and the licensing, security updates, any software that needs to be installed like runtimes and middleware, and deploying your own applications. This is a great option for companies that currently have on-prem data centers, but want to migrate to the cloud, whether it's to take advantage of cloud service offerings, scale performance, or just for the benefits of offloading the responsibility and costs of managing a data center. This is the easiest route too. All that has to be done is to push your VMs to Azure and you're good to go. And I'll be showing you how to do this in future episodes. So what if you're a development shop and you only care about your applications and you don't wanna manage the OS, you don't wanna manage runtimes and software? Well, that's where Platform as a Service comes in. With Platform as a Service, Azure manages not only the infrastructure, but also the OS, runtimes like .NET, and middleware like IIS or Node.js. The only thing that you have to worry about is your application and your data. Platform as a Service really makes it easy to deploy applications since the only thing you have to deal with is the application. And Azure manages everything else for you. You'll spend a few minutes setting up Azure to handle your application, but once you're done with that, you don't have to bother with it again. And we'll be going over this in future episodes as well. Now, these explanations are pretty basic, but they give you an idea of what the differences are between the two, and you can make better decisions when choosing how to utilize cloud services. In future episodes, we'll be going over Azure's offerings and how to take advantage of them. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on those. All right, that's it for this episode. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, and if you like this episode, click that like button or leave a comment and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.